I'm Corey Standy. I'm from uh, Platte, South Dakota. I farm right along the Missouri River. This is my grandfather's farm. He had this bought before they, they flooded the Missouri River, and uh, he's had it ever since. When I grew up here, my grandfather, he always wanted me to come back farming here. I farmed with him until he passed away in uh, December of 99. I want to make my grandfather proud. I want to push it to the highest yields I can possibly get. We used to do flood irrigation there years ago, and I'm listening to technology, and I'm just trying to figure out you know, what it's going to make to, to make it better. With my field, it'd be kind of hard to put a pivot in here. You look, and I got short rows, and it just all of a sudden it gets to half mile long rows. And well, when my dealer come down here and talked to me, they had an FM and it had that dripper compensation tape in it. Kind of intrigued me, so I started checking into it and visiting with different people, and we went with it, and, and it's worked very well for me. Drip has really evolved from the coast, where it's a lot more common on other higher value crops. What we're seeing the last few years is, is a lot of people asking, how can I grow more bushels more efficiently? And so drip irrigation is being introduced into the Midwest to be able to help guys break through yield barriers, much like Corey has. We've had such horrendous winds and the dry weather and everything this year, but I'm happy, very happy how mine corn and beans has turned out so far. I mean, I use less water and instead of running three pumps, now I'm down to two pumps. I mean, I'm, I eliminated 1,200 gallons a minute that, you know, I'm getting the same coverage over my acreage more evenly, and then my yields have been better too. And all my runoff, you know, my chemicals and all that stuff, they always ran back into the river. Well, now it's all underground irrigation. I don't have no erosion, no chemical runoff. It's worked out very, very well. So what we have here at Corey's is uh, we've got a number of different sensors. We've got soil moisture probes. We've got plant sensors that are sensing the temperature of the plant. In addition to doing that, we're taking tissue samples to see what that plant is doing, what, what it's in need of. And because we have supreme control over what's going on with drip irrigation, we can add whatever we need on a daily basis, both fertility and water, depending on what we want to do. We have the ability to measure and then manage right in season as we go. Since I started doing the underground irrigation, I started you know, winning some awards here. And, I mean, it, the one regret I had was my grandfather passed away as I always wanted to win, win an award. I wanted to take him. I hope someday they, they know that I put my whole heart into this farm. I mean, I, I take a lot of pride in it, and hopefully my son has the same thing when he comes here and when he takes over, and hopefully he can pass on the farm to his children. <laughs>